Hi everyone, and welcome back. Today's video features the best affordable gaming laptops of 2024. We've tested a variety of gaming laptops to identify the best models available, evaluating design and thermal efficiency, performance in relation to specifications, and overall value for money. So let's get started. MSI Thin GF63. It's difficult to find low-cost gaming laptops that don't compromise on performance, which makes the MSI GF63 Thin a great option for people looking to cut costs without sacrificing too many features. Given that it's also incredibly tiny and light, this generation of performance behemoths gaming laptops can't hope to match the beginning price. Its battery life is mediocre, but that's to be expected from a laptop intended for gaming. Up to a 12th generation Intel Core i7 Type-C 16GB DDR4 512GB NVMe SSD and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 are among its specifications. Also, we discovered that the display's 100MHz refresh rate, when paired with its 1080p HD resolution, produced a fluid gaming experience with vivid, clear images. Nevertheless, it isn't the best choice for demanding jobs like editing 4K videos and running scientific programs that require precise calculations. There is a great variety of ports available, covering all the necessary types. It actually outperforms all the other current generation gaming laptops we tested. Here, Nitro Vi. There are numerous reasons why the Acer Nitro Vi 15 is subpar. It's constrained by its NitroSense software, noisy and frequently slow. While this low-cost laptop offers good gaming performance, some of the finest gaming laptops at similar price points also do. This little gaming laptop should be right up my alley, and I did like how lightweight and portable it was, especially for working from home on the sofa. The 140Hz monitor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 GPU were other excellent additions that contributed to an unexpectedly enjoyable gaming experience. Despite being a low-cost laptop in many aspects, these two features give it a much more luxurious feel. Apart from its affordable pricing and small size, the Acer Nitro Vi 15 has very little positive attributes. The gaming experience is ruined, to start with, because it gets extremely loud and there is no way to establish a custom fan curve to manage sound. This is due to Acer's restricted NitroSense software, which manages the power plan and the fans. In addition, most games cannot be played until the battery is charged to 40% due to NitroSense. A perplexing decision that I still find hard to understand. HP Victus 15. I've been researching everywhere for a low-cost gaming laptop that I might suggest to customers who are willing to spend less than $8,000. The Victus is discreetly designed. My review device has a simple V on the lid, minimal backlighting, and is nearly completely black. It's not so much a chaotic mess of RGB that will not leave the basement as it is something you could carry to the office. It is not a lightweight device, but it is fairly portable at 506 pounds. The majority of ports are included, including the charging port as well as two USB-A, one USB-C, one audio jack, one HDMI 2.1, one Ethernet, and one full-sized SD reader. It is important to note that Thunderbolt 4 does not exist. The touchpad is about the only thing I noticed about the chassis. Not only does it pick up fingerprints easily, but it has quite a stiff click. MSI Bravo 15. The MSI Bravo 15 doesn't have the most beautiful appearance or screen, but it makes good use of AMD components to offer respectable gaming performance. In contrast to the elegant Razer Blade series and MSI's own stealth line of laptops, the Bravo 15 is a large, thick device with a lot of odd angles and superfluous details. It is nearly twice as thick as some of its more expensive competitors in the 15-inch gaming laptop market, measuring 14.1 x 10.2 x 1.0 inches. Though it's not a large device, the MSI Bravo 15 has a decent amount of connectors. A power port and two USB-A ports are located on the left. A 3.5mm audio, jack, USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, and Ethernet ports are located on the right. The MSI Bravo 15's display proved to be the biggest source of trouble for me. I felt the computer was a touch too dark and lifeless for work, multimedia, and gaming when I first started using it. Additionally, it has a poor battery life for gaming and a respectable battery life for productivity. Whether you're playing games on it or not, it can get a little hot. Asus ROG Strix G15. I had my doubts about the ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition when I first received my AMD test unit. Although the Radeon RX 6800M managed reasonable frame rates, it wasn't significantly outperforming similar systems that had NVIDIA and Intel components. I anticipated that this gaming laptop would be more or less in the middle of the pack, 
lacking any really unique features. In any case, a Strix is a terrific deal for $799. Compared to various gaming laptops costing hundreds of dollars more, this model is offering superior performance and longer battery life. I believe the Strix makes less sense as a value buy than the Zephyrus G15 because of its ostentatious and distinctly enthusiast appearance. But if you're looking for a bold and garish gaming laptop that's punching well above its price class, you're probably in the target audience. Asus TUF Gaming A17 Although Asus's TUF gaming laptops have always been a good substitute for less expensive gaming laptops, the company is aiming for a competitive edge with the TUF Gaming A17. It has a machined appearance, with four black imitation screws in each corner of the gunmetal lid. The TUF logo, which deftly leaves out the letters, is located in the center of the lid. The laptop has a military-style appearance thanks to the combination of textures on the exposed deck and the TUF gaming logo. More of the same vibe permeates the decor. The chassis features a gentle curved downward curvature that encircles the keyboard. The vent cutouts are located directly above the keyboard. Don't worry, the power button is not on the keyboard. Rather, it is in the upper right corner of the chassis. The webcam is even on the top bezel because of a tiny lip adjustment and the display bezels are comparatively thin. Along with a lengthy battery life and a comfortable keyboard, it also boasts powerful AMD Ryzen 5 4600H and GeForce GTX 1650 graphics. However, its silent speakers and utterly boring display can turn you off. Nevertheless, you do get a 1TB SSD for $735, which is unusual for the price, and the chassis has even undergone mil-spec testing. If you can get past the screen, the TUF Gaming A17 is among the greatest gaming laptops available. And with that, we come to an end. We hope you found a great pair that fit your demands and price range. All of these product links are included in the description below. Check it out to get the greatest deals on Amazon. Until then, bye. We'll see you in the next.